Hello YouTube. Hi, how are you doing? I am back again with my another tutorial uh, on threading. So we'll talk about uh, thread in uh, Python. So again, as you know, like thread is a lightweight process. So, <coughs> so it is very you know what is the difference between thread and process? You all know, right? This is a lightweight process and it doesn't uh, consume much uh, memory. Okay. So uh, that is the basic. Uh, for the about the thread okay so we'll try to understand the uh, basic programming in thread how a thread is implemented in uh, in python so the main concept is uh, more than one processes run at the same time and this share the same uh, resource and communicate with each other right so um, that's why i wanted to show you one basic program on this Okay, so there is a module called uh, thread uh, in Python. Okay, so uh, actually uh, now the thread is uh, is, of, uh, is um, thread is used for very basic uh, operations. Okay, because now we have threading in in Python, which is providing all the modules plus it has some additional features. So we are using uh, threading instead of instead of in, instead of thread we are using threading which is uh, you know provides a more convenient interface so that is uh, will is, is a higher level so we'll go to that next time but today we'll talk about a thread okay so threading is a superset of thread so right so we'll create a okay we'll try to understand it okay so we'll create a basic program to implement it okay let's say thread program dot py right okay so the first line as usual will be <coughs> the interpreter which is user uh, bin python okay then we are going to import the thread module which is having the 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 thread operations okay so i will uh, create a new thread here so there is a method called start new thread which is used to which is used to start a thread okay and it takes uh, it takes the function name that you want to start and the parameters okay so using that start new thread you can start more than one uh, process at the same time okay and <coughs> that uh, depending on the parameter passed it will run okay so let's define a function first okay let's call it uh, anything you know uh, display display current time okay fine so and we will pass it the parameters right so we'll pass it the name of the thread okay just, just to distinguish the, the two threads we will give it the, the thread name and the second parameter will be delay of course we will put some delay right to to distinguish the two uh, two threads right okay. so here we are taking a variable called count zero so while count less than five what do you want to do is we will uh, will uh, will uh, sleep for uh, delay okay we'll sleep for delay time so delay we want to sleep the process for these too many seconds so for that we need to have a time right okay so now we have to import one module called for time which is having the sleep and other stuff okay fine so here I want to display the time print okay and with the thread name so we'll come to know which thread is showing the time okay thread name colon okay so the thread name is passed we'll pass it using the color right thread name right okay and then add time when the thread was executed at time so we'll give it a time right okay so time you know how do we print right time using the time dot time so again but we have to convert it into visual 
format so we use uh, okay we have to use time okay time dot c time c time will convert it into the uh, the readable format right okay so here we are closing the okay right so we'll print that it we will print the time okay after that what we'll do okay this is my function that i want to run using thread okay so we'll use the the the, the thread we'll use the method of the thread module which is uh which is uh, start new thread okay start new thread okay and then we have to we have to call the function that we want to run okay so the name is display display cur current time right yeah and then we'll we need then we have to pass the the parameters the the, the arguments okay so okay <coughs> The function name is display current time and the parameters which is the thread name which is nothing but the okay we'll give we'll call it thread one okay thread one okay and then the we'll pass some delay let's say every two seconds it should, it should be executed okay so uh i'll just want to to make the to to give it give you a better understanding of thread i'll just run it once Let's see. I'll let then I'll come back to you. Thread. Okay. Let's see if any errors. Oh, definitely there is some error. Okay. Here, right? Any 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 block? We have to start with a colon. Right. Okay. Uh, and handle exception. Uh huh. Okay. Start new thread. T H R E A D start new thread <coughs> okay uh, so to handle any exceptions we have to put it into a try catch block okay okay and then accept any blocks always should end with a colon okay and then accept we can put like you know uh, error in starting error in starting thread right error in starting thread okay so and then we will uh, call the pass to to run the thread okay so when we run it you see uh, there was a delay of two seconds so every two seconds the thread is running okay so this is uh, this is one process so if you see after uh, every two seconds the process is running and then it is uh, okay it's going to infinite loop right so we have to con press control C and then if you see here okay I have not uh, incremented the count so let's increment the count plus equal to one. Okay, <coughs> so that's that's why the count was always zero. Fine. <coughs> so if I run this now, you see every two second uh, the thread will run, and then when the count will become five, it should uh, it should stop. The process should stop. The, the thread should exit from the main. Right. Okay. Now again we have to press Control C as it is going to infinite loop. Okay. Now right so this is one process okay uh, this is not we are not yet into the multi threading so it's only one thread so i want to start another thread okay with uh, another with a different delay time okay let's 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 give it some delay time let's say 3 so this process will uh, run for uh, run run will start in another time okay so this is a uh, this is a, this is the concurrence right uh, another process will uh, 
you know will run at different time <coughs> okay so let's call it thread 2 okay I'll give some better okay we'll give some space here right okay now we'll run it so what should happen so every two seconds the process thread one will start and then you see at the third second the thread two is also running okay so if you if you notice the thread one is running every two second and then thread two is running thread two is running every every three second see there is a gap of three second from thread two first run then second run and then there is another run of thread two which is again after three seconds so the two processes which is thread one and thread two are running concurrently and to distinguish the time and all we have printed the time and given it a name so this is a very basic program of multi-threading where two processes are running okay you can put another process here and exactly that's we can put another process you can put another thread which will you can call it thread 3 and we can give it another uh, you know delay like you know four seconds of delay so the th third thread will run every three every four seconds so if you you can you should notice that first one will run every two second the second thread will run every uh, three second and the third thread will run every four second see this is the third thread so it will run every four second right so this is very uh, basic uh, idea to understand multi-threading you can call uh, depending on this basis de depending on this base you can create several programs and 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 use the multi-threading so that's all guys thanks for watching keep uh, sharing my videos and keep and, and definitely subscribe my channel thanks